we are a nature-based school. When I, I helped to start this school many years ago, uh, it was started as a nature-based school with an outdoor classroom, and I've always been collecting things wherever I go in nature so that we could use them in the classrooms. Because we want to, the environment is the third teacher, and we want that environment to be very calm and very inviting, and we all know that elements of nature uh, help people to feel calm. We were already playing with stones probably before we got involved in this program, but then you kind of gave it an order, a, a good kind of order, we're having the different steps, some structure to it that helped us to use it. I did some research and I found out about stonework play and we decided to do it one year on our own and we did it and then you reached out when you I saw found, our I posts. Could, yeah, I found out you. Yeah, we're right here. Yeah. yeah, right here a town away and you came and joined us and helped to organize us and really taught us about the steps that we use. And also during COVID, we continued to do stonework play when you did not visit us. So we've been doing it for years. Uh, they were all excited to get their basket and to gather. And then you could see the differences between the three-year-olds and what they, but they, everyone was capable of creating a story, even our three-year-olds. And then as they got older, they start to really reflect on how it made them feel. Just take a few moments and then just share what they created with their own words. And then their story comes out to be exactly what they, comes yeah. alive. And usually they'll tell pretty much the same story that was dictated onto their, uh, their paper. <laughs>